In this video, we will talk about the different approaches that are used to estimate limit of detection. So different guidelines use very different approaches how to estimate limit of detection. And the, the reason for this can be that not all the approaches are totally fitting for all the analytical methods. The problem from, uh, that arises from this is that different approaches make very different assumptions. So let's look at uh, some data. Here we have uh, eight different approaches that are used to estimate uh, limit of detection for the same data. Uh, these approaches can be in general divided into three groups. The first group uses uh, visual evaluation and signal to noise ratio. In visual evaluation, uh, the analyst looks at the chromatogram and decides whether the peak of the analyte is present or not. And from that, uh, the decision is made whether the analyte is detected or not. This, this group is special because the, uh, the decision whether the analyte is present can be made from the chromatogram and the limit of detection value is not really needed. So the next group uses a very different approach and uh, here uh, the standard deviation at the single concentration is used to evaluate uh, limit of detection. Here also the concentration value of uh, limit of detection must be calculated uh, using the calibration function. The third group here is very similar to the second group. The only difference between them is that the standard deviation is uh, calculated from the data of the calibration function. So we can see from this uh, graph that the different approaches give significantly different uh, LOD values. So the choice which, uh, which approach is used to estimate the LOD is very important. It can also be seen here from the error bars that the LOD changes significantly between days. So in conclusion, we can uh, say from this that if uh, different approaches are used to estimate limit of detection, for uh, different uh, analytical methods, then the, the LOD values for these analytical methods cannot really be compared. So it's suggested that uh, every time uh, the LOD value is used, then uh, the description of the approach should also be given. It is also important to note here that uh, LOD depends on the variance of the results measurement results and the calibration function parameters that are estimated. As these parameters are only, can only be estimated and their true value can never be known, then uh, the LOD uh, can also be only estimated and the true limit of detection value is never known. So in the following videos, where we talk about uh, detection capability and decision limit, it will become apparent why exactly this kind of uh, equations can be used to estimate limit of detection.